Hello and welcome to a new edition of Keith and Ecto Doesn't Suck at Starcraft. Um, <clears throat> I took a um, the time to play some 2v2 matches against my friend Ecto. Uh, with my friend Ecto. And uh, this is the second time we come up against these two people. Uh, we have me spawning as a Protoss in the top, Violet Protoss. Uh, Ecto spawning as a blue Zerg. Our opponents are... Um, Kurdi Rebel as the uh, what is that white Zerg and a blue Protoss down below. So it's Zerg Protoss versus Zerg Protoss, which is kind of fun. We just had a match between these two guys, and um, he he's threatening us that this time you know we're totally gonna lose and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but we figure we we probably can't do the same tactic again, and we sort of get the feeling that one of them is really good and one of them is not so good, which is the same story with me and Ecto actually. I'm not very good, but I I manage. So we build up the um, <coughs> our bases here. I'm going for a bit more um, economy and, and setting up stuff while they are uh, um, working on... He's going to do a, a quick double gateway and get a lot of sealers out. And <coughs> Kuri Rebel is going to go for a lot of circlings, which is going to hurt us quite a bit. <coughs> Meanwhile, I um, follow a, a build order that I found online. I recently switched to uh, to Protoss because I'm getting tired of Cirque and I want to play something else. So I figure, you know, why not just uh, um, try, you know, try Protoss. I, I'm not really a big fan of Terran, to be honest. So we're building our armies and our bases, and <coughs> they are, you know, slowly getting ready to um, to get some action here. I'm gonna go double gateway as well, but I'm not as focused on um, um <coughs> building uh, attack units. I rather want a, a decent economy, and hoping that you know we can push back a bit. There is gonna be some erratic Protoss play for me because I'm still not entirely comfortable with it, but <coughs> you know, um, I'll learn, you know. <coughs> so, meanwhile, Ecto decides to, to get an, an early expansion. Well, not that early, really. It's it's like a 20 hatch, but it, it's, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, we think that we're pretty safe uh, from attack. Little do we know that is that these guys are just pumping out units really, really quickly. And I did scout the bases, but, well, I scouted the wrong position first. <coughs> I did scout for it, but too early to really tell anything. And um, we are just building up a lot of, of you know, units while they are uh, building up a lot of uh, a large force. And Rebel just got his uh, queen out, so expect a lot of, you know, circlings really fast especially with the uh, metabolic boost. <coughs> Defo is massing up on a lot of sea lots and you can bet that we're going to see a lot of circlings really really quickly. Um, like now probably. And um, like I said we just had a match between these guys and was matched against, against them again. This is just our placement matches. <coughs> so um, you know, I figure at this point there might not be that many people playing that's why we got the same the same people here and uh <coughs> we're looking to be in trouble because i have um you know i i have a uh, three c lots and ecto doesn't really have more than <coughs> than a few um circlings because we're trying to mass up a good economy right away meanwhile um our opponent has a lot of c uh, circlings and a lot of c lots moving up now <coughs> they decide to go for for Ecto. <coughs> and in the previous game they did this as well, but we managed to um we actually spawned everybody in the same position. But we managed to to pull back here, but now they are a bit more focused on you know getting going now. I have a measly five sealots. I haven't even gotten my warp gates up yet, but they're on their way. And um we decide to let them have this, just trying to mass up a few more units before, um, <coughs> and then hopefully we can retaliate. 
they move on towards Ecto's base, and that's gonna it's gonna hurt. I, I won't I won't deny that because um, he's not in a good position. All he has is is a single spine crawler, and it's not really enough to to sort of fend off this attack. Um, I'm waiting for some sealots here, and then I'm gonna move them out, try and help, and see if we might be able to salvage some of this, but. He's losing all of his drones, he, he hardly has any minerals, and <coughs> it's not looking too great. Um, <coughs> at this point, he has nothing to do, you know, he, he's really relying on me trying to save him, and in this scenario, against, I don't know how many sealots are there, it's like seven sealots and a ton of circlings. There's no way I can, you know, fix that. I can, I can jolt down a few circlings, but it's not really going to be enough. <coughs> <coughs> Trying to find out what I can do to help my uh, my friend here, but he has he has nothing left. I mean, he can't even build another drone. Um, I could I could transfer some some resources over to him, but it seems pointless at at, at this time because um <coughs> there's nothing left. They put a lot of effort into this attack, and they managed to get Ector down and. At this point, he's like, "Oh well, too bad. You know, we lost." And I say, "Wait, well, wait. M you know, we have my base, and maybe if we just, uh, if we, um, if I, if I manage the build building of buildings, and you manage the units, maybe we can swing it around, and, and you know, maybe have a bit of luck with it." <coughs> so that's what we're trying to do. So at this point, we're mining out of a single base. That's all we have, and we're trying to. I mean, they could probably have pushed in now. Um, and then have, have cleaned it out, but they don't. I'm sitting on a fair bit of uh, minerals and gas actually because I, I was so I, I can't multitask very well, so I was so focused on trying to help him that I didn't really focus on um, <coughs> getting out these um, spending my minerals. <coughs> so all I have is like uh, five sealots and an immortal putting up an, an additional robotics facility, <coughs> and I have um, four warp gates. And all of these units are just um, mining away, trying to get us some some more stuff. At this point, I say, Ecto, you you manage all of this, and um, I manage the um, I try and, and supply you with more units. I don't know, most people would probably uh, <coughs> give up by now, but suddenly we have a, a, a seizable force um, of four sentries, uh, four stalkers, two immortals, and five sealots. <coughs> but they still have like quite a lot of, of, of units here, and um, you know that, that can be you know, not too bad. And they're putting up another expansion, and <coughs> it's not too good. So Hector moves out with his... Uh, with his uh, force here, or our force, because right now this is all we have. <coughs> I'm trying to see if we can uh, um, we we can push back against this somehow. I don't know why. I don't know if he just completely misses. No, wait. That's that's his his little sealot there. I keep building units, and as soon as they're ready, I send them forward, <coughs> and they. Um, <coughs> And Ecto's trying to, to sort of push back and see if we can if we can do anything. Um, every time I, I spawn a new unit, 